Welcome to Team Redline Techniques in association with iRacing.com. Now we're off to one of the most famous race circuits in the world, winding through the hills of Northern California's Monterey Peninsula. That's right, Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Opened in 1957, it has featured a huge range of racing series, from Can-Am to Kart to MotoGP. Currently it's the home of the West Coast branch of the Skip Barber Racing School. The 2.238 mile course features 11 turns, one of which being one of the most famous in the world, the corkscrew. Laguna offers a true challenge to a driver, whether you be in a rookie solstice or in a Dallara IndyCar, accurate and precise driving is key to a good lap time. Laguna is also notorious in sim racing for accidents, mainly due to overdriving. Make sure you don't push too hard as going wide here will often be the end of your race. So we have split this guide into two parts. Firstly we're going to look at a smooth lap from Bastion and analyse it, and then we're going to look at racecraft with do's and don'ts. Before we start, a couple of pointers. The key to a fast lap is carrying speed. Once you become consistent with the car you will find your lap times drop considerably. So be smooth with your steering and pedal control. I find with Laguna, building up a rhythm for the track is important, as you can go off very easily. Ok, just to reiterate, be careful also when running over the kerbs, this will unsettle the car and also watch out for understeering off the track, this is due to going too fast into the corner. Ok, so let's start with a lap driven by Bastien Barsh. Approaching turn 1, move to the right side of the track and aim to break just at the number 3 board on your right. Brake hard and aim for the kerb, roll round the first apex and look to put on the power as soon as possible over the kerb of the second apex. Aim towards the number 2 board and look to blip the brake to help the car turn. Stay in third gear and hit the inside kerb, this corner is crucial for carrying speed. Full power over the kerb and be prepared to counter correct oversteer. Turn in earlier than you think here, use the number 2 board as your reference on the left hand side. Apply the throttle at about 80% until you reach the apex, just after the red kerbstone. Here's a fun corner, heavily cambered. Stay on the right hand side of the track, go down into 3rd gear from 4th and break at the number 2 board, aiming towards the kerb. A tiny bit of oversteer will help the car turn better as well. Very tricky this one, stay on the right and lift the throttle to induce oversteer and go down into 3rd gear just after the 2 board. You need to aim for the kerb but be careful, hitting the red kerbstone will 9 out of 10 times make you crash. Ok here we are approaching one of the most famous corners of motorsport. As you approach in 4th over the rise you will see a number 3 board on your right. Break at this board with your right wheels on the kerb, go down into 2nd gear, keep your eyes on the left kerb, you need to hit this. Watch for oversteer just after this part and back hard on the throttle. Move over to the right for this third gear left. You need to hit the inside kerb here, so release the throttle if you're going too fast into it. You don't need to brake. Now a tricky right hander, a dab of brake and into third gear. This corner is heavily cambered, so turn in earlier than you think and get ready to counter steer. Ok final corner, it's crucial to get a good drive out of here, down into second gear and throttle over the inside kerb. Be careful of the green kerbing on the exit, as this will really unsettle the car. Once again, remember to be smooth with steering and pedal action and your times will consistently improve. Ok now let's talk a bit about racecraft. Racing safely and cleanly is key to success in iRacing and Laguna is one of those tracks where you must bide your time. Most of your passing will be done as the car in front didn't get as good run from the previous corner or made a slight mistake. Careful driving from you will often ensure that you will not get past yourself. Anyway, let's look at places to overtake and defend as well as some of the things you shouldn't do. Like Lime Rock, Turn 1 is the best place to pass at Laguna. If you have a good exit from the last corner you'll be able to draft your competitor. Diving up the inside is a tricky prospect, remember the number 3 board as your brake marker on the right side. You need to brake a little earlier if possible as otherwise you'll go straight on and be passed back on the inside. This is what can happen. Ok let's see a successful pass here. There, nice and smooth. It's difficult for someone to get a run on you now as the next few corners only really have one line. 
Remember, running close to the car in front makes you unsighted, so try to use visual cues such as brake markers, and more often than not it's best to brake slightly earlier when you're following close behind. Another place is into turn 5, but only if you get a really good run out of turn 4 as it's a little risky. You can also attempt passing the corkscrew, but only if you're side by side with the other car. We don't recommend it otherwise. Finally, you can try and pass up the inside of the final corner. This usually ends in tears for both drivers, so it's best to stay close to the car in front and get a good run to try and pass into turn 1 instead. However, here's a good pass. And on the other hand, here's a bad pass. Just quickly, defending moves are allowed, most notably into turn 1. Make sure you stick to the inside and brake slightly earlier than normal. Anyway, here are some more ways to defend. Hold the inside line and make sure you don't keep changing direction. Okay, so that concludes the rookie solstice at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. For more questions, visit us at www.teamredline.co.uk or the iRacing.com members forum.